Hi, I'm Dave. I'm one of the video producers here at Adorama. And Adamos just brought to us the new Shogun Flame and Ninja Flame. And uh, let's go over some of the new features. So we're using a Sony a7S II and we're shooting on S-Log3. And one of the new features with the Ninja Flame and Shogun Flame is the new Atom HDR. The image that you're seeing here is the straight log video. And if we put a LUT on it, you can see what happens to the video. The highlights get blown out, the shadows go dark. This is kind of a straight log to Rec. 709 image, but because they have a new 10-bit display on this, they've added this Atom HDR engine, which allows you to see much, much more detail. If you're shooting in bright sunlight, then you can add brightness to the HDR. And of course, that doesn't look correct indoors where we're at now because we're in a different dynamic range environment. Uh, you can choose which log you're using, and you can choose which color gamut you're using, and which camera you're using. So this is one of the great new features that they added to the Ninja Flame and Shogun Flame. It allows you to better monitor your log video pretty much regardless of the camera you're using. If you're using a Canon or an Ari or a Sony uh, or Panasonic, um, it's, it's got a lot in there, which is fantastic and great for so many different uh, shooting situations. This is a 10-bit display on these recorders. So this is giving you much, much more detail in your highlights and shadows, and the color gradation is much smoother. You won't get the kind of banding that you get with 8-bit video signals. So this gives you a better representation of what you are actually recording. This is the brightest monitor that Atomos has produced. The differences between the Ninja Flame and the Shogun Flame is very much the same as the differences between the Ninja Assassin and the Shogun, where the Ninja Flame is HDMI only, and the Shogun Flame has the HDMI, and it also has the SDI connections, which also includes uh, Genlock. Where the Ninja Assassin had a silicone bumper that you would put over it, the Ninja Flame and Shogun Flame have built-in bumpers. They're tougher than ever. It now has two battery slots, and you can put 970 batteries on there. Now, if one of the batteries drains out, you can take it off and put it on the charger while the other one is supplying power to the recorder. So Atomos also improved their battery charger. It's a little new design. It is three times as fast. The Ninja Flame and the Shogun Flame are a great step forward for Atomos. The dual battery slots, the bright 10-bit display, the added durability all make this a much more versatile tool for production.